Hi, my name is Frankie Garcia. Let's go on a road trip. Hi, welcome to The View. Rosie O'Donnell couldn't make it today, so we found the next biggest bitch, Benny Tazi. <laughs> <laughs> folks at the end of the road as frankie garcia and his esteemed colleagues take the path of least resistance the fruits of their labor ripe with the golden glow of a california sunset a long day's ride coming to an end but everybody knows the story don't begin with the sunset cook's corner a salt of the earth saloon that serves cold beer and warm smiles. This is where the story begins, but it looks as though Frankie's running late. Or usual. Ah, here come the boys now. Hey, what's up? My name's Frankie Garcia. We're out here at uh, Cook's Corner today, and uh, we're gonna take the boys on a little ride. I got some friends with me, something I've always wanted to do, a little camping trip. Go for a nice little road trip on, on the baggers here. We got a flock of Indian challengers. I got my buddy Benny Tazi from Bell Helmets. Hey, I'm uh, Benny Tazi. In typical Frankie fashion, he let me know about, I don't know, a week ago about this trip. Probably took a, a little more convincing than uh, I want to admit, but I'm here. And, uh, and, he, and, he, and he sold it to me. Who's gonna drink the most beers on this trip? If you had to predict. Dude, easily Kyle Vara. That guy is a degenerate. My name's Kyle Vara. I've been on a motorcycle for over 20 years now. Excited for the trip, it's gonna be pretty cool. Get to go see Chuck Walla and, and some of the stuff up um, by Joshua Tree, so I'm excited. And then we got Jeff Holt from V Twin Visionary. Uh, he's pretty much the godfather of V Twin motorcycles and, and all things that go with it. Hey, I'm Jeff G. Holt. I've been riding for 30 plus years, and uh, Frankie hit me up to go for a ride with some guys, and uh, I'm always down for making new friends and hitting the road. Can we get that? Can we get a shot of that? Yeah. Jeff's wife, yeah. everyone. <laughs> Straight to the bar. <laughs> I always wanted to take a bagger and go camping on it, or a motorcycle and go camping on it. So we grabbed four Indian challengers. I grabbed some of my good buddies, and uh, we set out on this little adventure this weekend to uh, go on a little road trip. And uh, today's day one, we left Cook's Corner. This is real service. Thanks, Richard. freeway and cut a crossover, went over to Julian. Obviously, the whole point of going to Julian was to get an apple pie, so we also did that. Yeah, Alex is 
Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frankie. Yes. How are you doing, Frankie? Good, man. Yeah. Very nice to meet you. I've been, I've been meaning to come visit this place for a long time. Well, welcome to the Quinn Knives. Happy to be here. Oh, man. Yeah. Check it out. Take your time. Yeah. Awesome. Stuff. Dude, that little guy's sick. Dude. Arcata. It's beautiful. And that's a full tang on that. G10 backing. Dude, that thing, is, that thing is actually really cool. Yeah, I wish that thing came with a sheet and I would just carry it around. Inside. Oh, boom, it does! This thing's going on my belt loop the whole rest of the trip. Thank you so much. stop at uh, Alex Dunson's house. Uh, he was nice enough to let us stay at his property. This whole trip is like traveling and making memories and having good times with, with, with my friends. And that's what I think road trips and motorcycles and all that stuff is supposed to really tie everybody into. And, you know, it just kind of goes full circle, the fact that, you know, we're here. We went to your knife shop today. Which is crazy. Which is like, this, your whole trip like ties together like how everybody's like connected through this love of motorcycling. Yes. And like sometimes like we met in the moto industry, even though I've moved away from the moto industry, it's still like, we, we, it's still all family. I mean, well look where we're at. You haven't really moved away. Okay, that's true. <laughs> you ready to camp out tonight? Yeah, I, I'm ready. Uh, Kyle's ready. Jeff's ready. Benny, not ready whatsoever. <laughs> not even gonna happen. <laughs> it's cool being here. Thanks for everything. Yeah, Thanks we're for... finally going to see the spot. We're finally here, man. Now you get to sign the door. So everybody that rides at my house, and you technically rode, because you rode across the we went. Hey, we, we went on a little trail ride on Baggers. I have a scrambler track going around the yard. Like, <laughs> oh, we wouldn't build anything out here. Oh, yeah. Ben designed that. Let's go that camping. Thing, so. Get the pickles. Did the pickles do you? Let's... Benny's going to eat that whole thing. <laughs> we set some tents up. We got a campfire going with an iron skillet in it. We're gonna cook some dinner here in a little bit. We have some booze to keep us warm because uh, the tents and the sleeping bags probably aren't going to do that. <laughs> no. um, it seems like everyone's having a great time. I know I am. Benny's a little <laughs> bit bummed out. You're gonna be all right, dude. We can ride this I, out together. I, I was promised a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to adulthood. See, I was promised zero. Yeah. So in the middle between you and I, we're gonna have the perfect night i know what i'm doing i'm totally content right now Was this yeah everything's just gone completely to plan <laughs> i think everything's gone completely to my plan what plan did you have okay you know um <laughs> i think there's a holiday inn express not far from here <laughs> and uh i don't know if it includes the continental breakfast but <laughs> maybe i'll spring for that in the morning what are you talking about you're camping right there we're building your I can't. I can't even see over there. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna make you a whiskey bottle pillow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it's gonna be fine. Good to I would actually like to find a really smoking hot chick. Hell yeah. That's faithful. That's tight. <laughs> I'm asking a lot yeah, right now. That's easy fuck If this up, makes you know it this. in the video. One, two, three, four! <laughs> Trying to stay warm, dog. Now, Benny took the low road that night, choosing to go with the filming crew while his compadres roughed it under the desert sky. Benny is what we country folks might call an opportunist. Heck, 
but to each their own. He knew he was going to get an earful in the morning. As the morning sun rose over them hills, the boys were a bit slow. They were feeling the grog that comes from a late night filled with too much liquor and not enough sleep. Hell, but that's not nothing the open road can't fix. The whiskey kept me warm, but both their snoring was what kept me up. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was uh, that was the worst part. Frankie was hitting octave snoring that I've never heard before. Dude, he was rattling the tent. <laughs> it was <laughs> it was like <laughs> it was a snore I've never I've never heard before. How'd you sleep, Frankie? Um part where I lie because Benny's here or do I just tell the audience? <laughs> we, we, we already what, guessed you'd, what, you'd be like best night's sleep I've ever had this, <laughs> it's crazy how the ground and just fix my vertebrae and <laughs> that ben, sleeping bag I used as like you know covers a blanket and I kept like waking up I'm like oh I'm so hot <laughs> you know <laughs> I'm like, I hate hair. you and then like I only had two cups of coffee you only had two cups. Did you bring us coffee? Like you said you were going to. Well, it wouldn't have made the trip. What about this guy? That was fun. He literally slept right there? Yeah, see where it's wet? It gets, like, pulled the moisture out of the ground. <laughs> You're crazy. I'd run it for sure, dude. Things insane. We're hurt. It looks like we're having technical difficulties. It appears these boys went and got themselves stuck in the sand. While these Indian challengers handle the road like a shepherd handles sheep, it's probably not a good idea to ride these puppies in the dirt. Man, that Calvera boy looks more comfortable in the dirt than he do on the road. All right now, they got themselves sorted. What was that canyon? Box called? Canyon. Box Canyon. Uh, which is a pretty cool road um, over the hill to Chuck Wall Valley Raceway. And obviously I wanted to give these guys a little bit of taste of baggers on a racetrack and we were able to do that. Um, we put these guys on the, on the track on their Indian Challengers and gave them a little glimpse of what me and some of the boys do at the Moto America races. Uh, so that was really cool. Um, and then...
So I'm Mickey Grana, and I uh, am the founder and uh, one of the developers and builders of Chuck Walla from the very beginning. 2010, we came together and built this little place and put together a plan and a goal that everything we put together originally changed. <laughs> here we are today. Well, I, I don't think I can tell everything we've done since we've been out here, um, you know, but no, Frankie's been, uh, he's been a part of our family from the very beginning. You know, he came out here and we met through some other mutual friends and, you know, he jumped on an SV and broke the track record right from the gate. Track record still holds today. Through the years, just watching Frankie mature and go from a level of just kind of a, you know, full send it without thinking and without consequence to somebody that in the position that he's been today, it's been a, it's been a real pleasure. It's been a pleasure to kind of grow Chuck Walla and watch, you know, watch us all kind of grow up through the industry together. And today he's an ambassador for, for Indian and, you know, uh, is a huge part of helping grow the sport. So it's been, it's been a real pleasure. Been riding baggers for a grand total of two days now. I can thank Frankie Garcia for that. Yeah, no, I'm, a, I'm adapting pretty well. I'm considered a bagger guy now. And so I think uh, my future's got a bagger in it for sure. The bagger's how a motorcycle's supposed to ride. Like something that you're, you're cruising on, it's comfortable. It's got everything that you could need um, to go long distance. Yeah, they're awesome bikes. They're heavy, they're long. They're stable, but but they're fun. Actually, it was my first day on a track, like a legit track. So um, it was cool to kind of see the layout. I've, I've seen it from a distance and, and kind of understand what goes on out there, but um, it was definitely super cool to, to actually ride it firsthand. I enjoyed it, it was super fun. I wish I could do a couple more laps, but for now, I'll just, I'll just take the one. <laughs> so. There, one of the most exciting parts of the trip that I look forward to is going to Joshua Tree and Riding through there and checking out a couple monuments. Matt Black, white walls on the lack. On the lack. Well dressed, throw some wax on my stash. On my stash. All black, you can call me Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Johnny Riding through there and checking out a couple monuments, we went to uh, Skull Rock and looked at that. And from there, we went up street. Just head straight to the office. You're really <laughs> negative about this whole thing, no, Benny. No, absolutely not. Is Benny invited on the next one? I, don't, I think I could invite Benny on the next one and he just <laughs> would decline. <laughs> That's heavy. That is? That's gnarly. Go get in the eyeball. That thing's sick. And from there we went to Key View, which is this like insane sunset view uh, that apparently everybody goes to at the end of their Joshua trip. And we had to kind of split lanes and ride bikes past all the traffic. Split and lanes on the wrong side of the street. On the wrong side of the road, just to get to the view spot before the sun went down. But we made it, we saw the sunset, and it was mighty, mighty beautiful. What can you do for me? Got your beer. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that yep. so much. Have a good one. It's a nice shower. Yes, dude.
Yeah, first of all, before I say anything, I'd like to let everyone know that Benny did not do his homework before coming on this trip and did not watch Easy Rider. Um, what was I supposed to do again? We're about 10 miles out of, like, the exit of Joshua Tree, and uh, I think everybody was a lot happier with the accommodations last night, because um, this place doesn't suck. <laughs> they had a heater. <laughs> yeah, I think we first thing, Wi-Fi. first thing we did when we walked in the house was crank every heating situation to its max potential. We've made some memories. We've bonded. We've learned a lot about each other. <laughs> Bros. Oh, yeah. We're all, yeah, this is something I don't think any of us are ever going to forget. I can't wait to, to do it again. Kyle has been pretty, I think he lives, he was made for this stuff. Oh, yeah. Jeff's gnarly. He pretty much wrote the book on riding motorcycles long distances and camping out of them and he's a gnarly just man's man and then benny benny was, did better than i anticipated although he had his kind of moments um lots of am i allowed to say bitching lots of, <laughs> <laughs> lots of bitching mostly i mean only just about the cold weather yeah riding in the cold which and the excellent planning that frankie did through this whole thing <laughs> It was seamless from start to end. We just hit all the marks, no problem. No time issues. You thought it through from beginning to end. I was really impressed how we weren't late to every single thing that we were trying to do. You yeah. know what's crazy is I'm sensing a lot of sarcasm <laughs> oh. in your voice right now, and I honestly feel yeah. that everything went pretty smooth. I mean, Benny, yeah. I know that, you know, this is, trip has been... You know, turned you into a man. <laughs> Girl. It's done one you'll thing. You'll be a woman soon. I'll, I'll tell you what it's done. I've been on the fence about our friendship for a long time. <laughs> and it has finally pushed it over the edge. I know now we will cut ties. <laughs> from, from the moment we split on that highway and I see you take an exit and I'm going the other way, that's it for us. I think I told you yesterday, I'm just coming all the way to Orange County with you guys. Yeah. We're going to have dinner tonight. constantly reminded as to why I love motorcycles and how they add to my life. This trip just was the most recent reason why I love everything two wheels. You kind of have a rough idea of what you want to do, but whatever happens, happens. And I think uh, that's just part of it. Like, you'll have trips that are good and you'll have trips that are bad, but I think it's just part of the deal. In a situation where obviously you three guys know each other really well, and then you throw somebody like me in, the dynamic can change really quickly. It was really cool to be able to, to get with these dudes I didn't even know and, and be good friends with them coming out the end of this. It's pretty rad. Myself, currently at this moment in time, don't want this trip to end. I would keep going. I would put that tent sleeping bag, keep it in the bag and just keep going just on to the next spot. I've got to introduce these guys to some of my, some other people that I consider family. I, I think that's what this is all about, is being able to make friendships and yeah, everything doesn't always go to plan. You know, sometimes we rough it and, but that's what makes these trips these trips is that, you know, the, the things that happen, you just don't know. Write love songs anymore. I love songs anymore My baby, my darling, be there in the morning uh, Crying and mourning, life when I'm touring Fans, they roaring, I'm not ignoring Your tears, they pouring, the money is pouring Bottles of message, the struggles a lesson Faith of a legend, my love is a weapon Crushed with emotions, we wishing